So what we have at the moment are four teams, roughly four or five people. In a moment, you're all going to work from this one resource. It's just a ream of paper. Ordinarily, I'd recommend using a stack of recycled paper. I happen to have run out. So we're about to create a new set of recycled papers. <laughs> This is your one resource for each of your four teams and you all have the identical problem to solve. Once I give you this information, you can spend a moment or two to consider how you're gonna plan this, but you're going to have literally seven minutes to solve this problem. Starting with one sheet of paper, and if Lisa, you and I happen to be in the team and we are nominated by our team, so each of your teams is gonna nominate two people to be actively involved in solving the problem and the rest will be actively involved in helping to solve the problem, place a sheet of paper between you and any other part of the physical anatomy of your partner. We might choose to begin with your hand against the paper. Right, this is the start. Right now, we've achieved a score of one. Your objective in seven minutes is to find as many sheets of paper to be supported between the two people you nominate. The two people you start with don't change, but within that seven minutes, you might adjust your structure to go, oh, that didn't work, we'd only got seven pieces of paper. Disband, find another way, we might do it between our noses, or anything, I'm, I'm making it up. <laughs> but there's a few parameters. One is that one sheet of paper can never touch another sheet of paper. So that stops you from putting two together between two hands. You also, anything that is affixed must touch both of you. This does not work. Unless, of course, in this case, Lisa puts her hand on my head to keep it there. That will work because it, exactly, thank you, Lisa. So that would actually apply because it involves both of us to keep it there. Clearly, no adhesives can be used. And finally, you cannot fold the piece of paper. So just imagine if you could fold this many, many times, we could probably put eight pieces of folded bits between just our two hands alone. To repeat, your teams of four or five people are gonna nominate two people. You're gonna take from this one pile of sheets of paper and your objective in seven minutes, and we'll start that in just a moment. How many sheets of paper can you append off the floor, again, clearly, between two people in which you're not folding, no two sheets are touching, and there's always two of you involved in affixing it. Questions? Do the active people have to be standing? Uh, no. Yes, another question? <laughs> With two hands, you can have three or four bits of paper, one here, one there, one there, and one there. So the parameter that would would be the issue you'd have to consider about would be what not there? Touching. Touching. Not as touching. As long as they're not touching, you exactly. can still have four yep. pieces of paper yep. as long as they're not long touching. As long as they're not touching. Got the idea? Yep. Your time starts now. Keep in mind the paper cannot touch the floor. The paper cannot touch the floor. <laughs> Two minutes remaining. 120 seconds for those who have their arms out to the sides. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Step back from your creations. 